Hi, I'm Pastor Isaiah, and I would just like to welcome you all here to our Sunday service online. I have one announcement for us this morning, and then we can continue on our worship through prayer and song. Uh, that one announcement is that we need volunteers for our Sunday morning tech team. So if you have a talent or just a desire to learn about how to run the media, the media or the soundboard or the video, uh, that'd be great and we would love for you to volunteer. So just get in contact with one of us here at the church and we would gladly put you on our list to get you on our Sunday morning tech team. So now if you bow your heads with me in prayer, we can continue on in prayer and then continue on in song. Heavenly Father, I thank you for today and I thank you for your goodness and your, your merciful nature that you love us and care for us and that you are eternally with us, even in our highs and the lows, Lord. And in times when we do realize, in times when we don't realize, you are always with us. And I just ask that as we move into our worship service, Lord, that we would be, uh, we would be, we would realize in ourselves that you are here, that you are present with us, you are working in us, and that you are doing a good and wonderful thing here. You are bringing your kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven, through us and in us. And I just ask that we would be, we would open ourselves up, soften our hearts, open our eyes to how you are working in our lives. And I just pray that you'd be glorified through our thoughts, words, and deeds in today and tomorrow and throughout our lives. We pray all these things in the holy name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Now we will continue our worship through song. Thank you.
please join me in reading scripture this morning. I'll be reading from Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 14, and I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. If you will only obey the Lord your God by diligently observing all his commandments that I am commanding you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your livestock, both the increase of your cattle and the issue of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessing upon you in your barns and in all that you undertake. He will bless you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he has sworn to you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. All the peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. The Lord will make you abound in prosperity, in the fruit of your womb, in the fruit of your livestock, and in the fruit of your ground and the land that the Lord swore to your ancestors to give you. The Lord will open for you his rich storehouse, the heavens, to give the rain of your land in its season and bless all your undertakings. You will lend to many nations, but you will not borrow. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be only at the top and not at the bottom, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I am commanding you today by diligently observing them. And if you do not turn aside from any of the words that I am commanding you today, either to the right or to the left, following other gods to serve them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
So Phyllis, we're having a special service where we're talking about our blessings. So I thought I would just come and ask you about some of the blessings that you've had throughout your life. Well, I hardly would know where to start. <laughs> but I can tell you that we've had a lot of time to uh, reflect on how blessed our life has been in many, many ways. We've done a lot of traveling. We've been able to be helping people that needed help to travel. And uh, I found it very rewarding. We visited the Middle East 13 times. Wow. And uh, even had some conversions. Oh. During our tours over there. It's, it's been a wonderful, rewarding experience. Okay, that was you and your husband, Jack? Mm hmm Yeah, and there are some people that were part of our church that went on some tours with you. Oh, yes. Yeah. We've had over 800 people travel with us. Oh, wow. Um, my husband took a couple times when I wasn't able to go, and I did several uh, when he wasn't free to travel because of his work, but uh, mostly we were together. Okay, good. What other blessings? Um, well, I, you know, and just thinking about this, how wonderful it was to grow up in a Christian setting. And I don't ever remember the doubting hmm. uh, about uh, the, the um, upbringing of my that I had for my child, my uh, parents. Hmm. They they were wonderful, very positive. They weren't in the old. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. But, um, they were very strict in some ways that a lot of parents were in the earlier years. Um, I mean, they told us what was right and wrong and mm -hmm. expected us to abide by it. But, uh, but, you know, we were allowed to enjoy good music and not all this Christian music and so on. It mm. wasn't mm -hmm. always the case in the homes. Right. And, yeah. uh, and I found that, you know, I really enjoyed music, good music. Um, just recently, you've had a blessing. I don't want to interrupt your train of thought, but just recently, you've had a blessing. With the money that I received from the, uh, through what it was called, Helping Hands Organization, but they had gotten in touch with the seminary where my husband graduated back in 1952. And... Uh, wanted to know if there was anything that I needed in the medic way of medical help because the uh, Helping Hands organization was giving money to the seminary for graduates or their spouses. And my doctor had told me that I would be probably ending up in a wheelchair. And so I thought, well, maybe this would be a good time to, <laughs> to uh, ask for the scooter, which I did. Okay. It was to cost something over $3,000. And they got in touch with me and said I had been approved for it. I was the first application to be approved. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. And uh, they uh, not only approved the 3,000, uh, but they said I had been approved for 10,000 American, which translated into 12,000 Canadian yeah. <laughs> at that time. Wow. And what else did I need? <laughs> the 
chair you're sitting in. Okay. It's very nice. Stands me up. Does it right. punch you right out? Right. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, I got another wheelchair just I can carry in the uh, car for, for my family to pick me up and so on. Um, I got new dentures. Oh, did you? <laughs> and uh, hearing aids. Wow. And a whole new Phyllis. <laughs> Parts of me, anyway. <laughs> oh, what a blessing. Oh, it was. I don't know what I would have done because shortly after receiving the, the uh, scooter, I was in a little accident. Oh. Here at the Bentley and fell. Oh, but dear. The electric doors closed on me one Sunday morning when I was going to church. Oh, dear. And sent me flying onto the concrete. <laughs> oh dear! I didn't break anything except um, my back has been damaged because oh. of that, and uh, I find it very difficult to walk. Yes, yes. Oh but, dear! But the uh, the thing is, you know, this happened so quick that. Um, you never know. Yes, that's true. That's know. true. So the timing was perfect as far as having received this. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have lived um, a good number of years. And just to wrap this up, tell us about the blessings of your children and grandchildren and great grandchildren. Yes. <laughs> I have five grandchildren. I have 14, I think, <laughs> great-grandchildren. Um, they kind of sneaked a couple over on me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, uh, no, they've been a wonderful blessing. Yeah, you've had some through adoption. Yes. So yes. that's a blessing to them to be joining your family. Well, it's, it's wonderful to see how they are loved and and mm. how they love in response. Nice. Nice. Well, thank you, Phyllis. Thank you for taking the time. It's going to be truly a delight for the congregation to be able to see you as a movie star up on the oh. screen. <laughs> and uh, so thank you for taking the time to share with us You're today. You're welcome. It's a to have you here. Mm. Well, good morning to you on this Sunday morning, September the 6th. Wasn't that fantastic? to hear from Phyllis this morning. And as you heard me say, we're going to be spending a, some time together this morning in a special interactive service of counting our blessings. In this morning, why don't you take a few minutes to meditate on the ways that God has blessed you and then grab uh, something to write with, piece of paper, and write out your blessings. Take some time, pause the video, to do that now. Now let's take a moment to pray and thank God for our blessings. Precious Father, we thank you and we praise you for your many and great blessings that you pour over your people, despite our disobedient ways and our sinful pride. How great you are and what a gracious God that you should care for us despite our actions towards you and towards others at times. Thank you, Father, for your unconditional and everlasting love. We want to grow more and more like you. We ask that you continue to guide and teach us in all that we say and do, that we may do according to your will. And we ask you to continue to pour out your bountiful blessings and mercy on us. In your name we pray. Amen. So to begin this morning, Let's consider exactly what is a blessing. There is a famous blessing that we have heard before. Here's how it goes. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. This is not new. 
Most of us have probably heard this old Irish blessing many times over. And it's a simple blessing, stressing the importance of blessings in our lives. Our world today seems to have turned into cursors, not blessers. Our movies, songs, internet, even playgrounds are all crammed with four-letter words. Drive down a street and you may see people cursing each other with flying fingers and flailing fists. Visit a park and you will hear curse words even from little kids and you'll see the actions that cursing calls forth. Have we as a people forgotten how to bless? In the Bible, God sets an example by blessing all he creates, where he says, God looked at everything he had made and he found it very good. This goodness and the desire for goodness is the heart of what blessing is about. So I thought it would be important this morning for us to shift and focus on counting what our blessings are and also recognizing all the ways that we can bless other people. You know, cursing is the opposite of blessing. To curse is to call evil or injury down on someone. It is to invoke or pray for evil. And so in life, we find ourselves offered this choice. We can bless or we can curse. We can call goodness or call down evil. As Christians, I hope we get it, that if we are to be God's people, we need to know that we are blessed and that we are called to be a blessing. So what exactly is a blessing? Blessings, first of all, focus on God. They come from God. The road rises up. We don't think about cursing, but instead we realize that we are blessed. And when things are not well, the road does not rise up. Everything in life can seem like an uphill struggle. But we can't let go of God during those times because we know that God is the source and he's essential to us having blessings. Blessings can be transferred. Maybe we transfer a blessing through spoken words or with gestures or touch, the laying on of hands. It is given to another so they can experience it. And the Irish blessing mentions this. Whether it is the wind at your back or the sun shining on your face, a blessing is given from heaven to earth. And blessings are an experience. Jesus spoke the Beatitudes, telling of a goodness that would give, give comfort and hope. And we can pass this along to others. The power to bless is incredibly awesome. Our days are filled with endless opportunities to practice the art of blessing. Maybe we start by personally calling down God's goodness each morning at the start of our day for ourselves and also, also for those we meet. Our meal times provide yet another important opportunity for blessing. We know from our New Testament reading that Jesus would traditionally bless food at the feeding of the multitudes and at the Last Supper. We recognize that we live in abundance so we thank God for the food we eat. The places where we live are blessed. Sometimes we put up a cross or some artwork to remind us of God's blessing. In Jewish homes, the mezuzah is placed at the door po doorpost. Part of the Jewish tradition is the touching of that mezuzah and the reciting of the wonderful blessing. May God protect my going out and coming in now and forever. It helps to be reminded of the goodness of God around us. We might also pray at some point of our day and ask God to use us to be a blessing to others. You're probably all familiar with this hymn that we would sing together if we were in church. Out in the highways and byways of life, many are weary and sad. Carry the sunshine where darkness is rife, making the sorrowing glad. Tell the sweet story of Christ and his love. Tell of his power to forgive. Others will trust him if only you prove true every moment you live. Give as t'was given to you in your need. 
Love as the master loved you. Be to the helpless a helper indeed. Unto your mission be true. Make me a blessing. Make me a blessing. Out of my life may Jesus shine. Make me a blessing, O Savior, I pray. Make me a blessing to someone today. A key aspect of being together as a church body is the fellowship we have one with another. But now, sadly, because of COVID, our fellowship time, it's not the same because we remain structured at least six feet apart, but we still desire to communicate with each other. So we're going to do just that. Pause the video, grab some paper and a pen, and over the next couple minutes, write a note or two or many to people in our church family. Pause the video now and do that. Another important blessing that we have is remembering to regularly bless our children. Of course, children are blessed material, but they also need spiritual blessings. It's crucial that our children taste and see the goodness of the Lord. It could be a simple daily gesture, a hand on the forehead and the words, God be with you, as they head out for school in the morning, or a prayer time before they go to sleep. We want to regularly remind our children of the goodness of God in their lives. So let's take some time and pray for our children. Dear God, we praise you for your love and faithfulness. We thank you for your protection and care over us and our families. Thank you that you give us the power to love well and the wisdom to lead and teach our children. We know that you're for us, that you fight for families every day because you are our redeemer, restorer, and friend. We believe that you have good things in store and we confess that some days it's hard. Many days we can feel anxious or overwhelmed. We ask that you would make us more like you, more aware of your constant presence in our lives, more aware of what blessing children are. Help us to release our children to you so that you are free to fully accomplish all that you desire in them and through them. Please fill our families with your truth and cover us with your favor. In your name I pray, amen. Well, I hope you've enjoyed taking some time this morning to review a bit about blessings and to count your blessings. And blessings, whether they're Irish or Jewish, ancient or modern, are an important part of our faith life and more than ever we need to continue to bring the flow of the divine into our lives just as in moses time our generation needs to learn the art of blessing amen, amen. Oh,
face shine upon you may his graciousness be like an endless stream and may the lord show his favor to your house and your neighbor till the last remaining strains of striving cease May he grant you peace In my heart there's a sadness building up Every turn adds to the cup As the losses match the measure of my gain In the shadow of this curse Where the best implies the worst If you're like me, you need to hear somebody pray May the Lord bless and keep you May His face shine upon you May His graciousness be like an endless stream May the Lord show His favor To your house and your neighbor Till the last remaining strains of striving cease May He grant you 